how's it going? This is the last um, part of the, the practice part series that I've um, stolen or, I don't know, borrowed or I found on the internet. Um, it's a good little set of problems now to, to practice for the CSWA exam. I got this little part from one of our adjuncts, John Gunter, and it's a nice it's a nice little um a nice little problem um there is a dimension missing in the book and this was called out to me by um i feel like it was a chap in in tunisia or um algeria some in mad place some nice place anyway i've never been to and hopefully i'll get to go there someday um anyway the degree is 125 so let's let's just get rid of it. Well, let's get rid of that. Um, we'll open it back up. Um, so I'm looking at this, and my brain is whenever you see like a constant wall thickness all over the place, um, it's a shell, and that's probably going to be the last feature we do in the feature tree. I'm looking. I need to remember that 125 degrees um but i'm looking at this tube going up here and that looks like some sort of a sweep going on which i'm gonna have to show you how to do i don't go into sweeps and lofts very much because it's just not on the exam uh, I, we used to do a lot more of it um but but look i'm going to show you how to do this anyway there's no harm in learn how to do it um i'm thinking the first feature we're going to do is just this cylinder here which is a diet well do you know what we could do is we could draw this out uh, i'm just going to draw this out on a piece of paper we have the the diameter 50 we have the diameter 80 and then we have the um, the the tangent lines it's 160 between them got the two tan tangent lines let's start with that um, we go to new part. Um, honestly, I, I I don't know what my mindset is, but like I I always like want to guess when I when I know I have to make a load of videos, I like to get them out of the way because I'm I'm lazy like that. But do you know when I've done them all, I'm kind of sad because I've nothing to do. Um, but I am going to be making some videos on um, factory IO which re really is a, it is an amazing piece of software. Um, I know a lot of you, um, you can't be a, a SolarWorks specialist. And that's all you do. Maybe that's not true, but I think it's, it's wise to know a little bit about everything. You want to be a generalist. Um, I'm pretty crap at electronics. I'm pretty crap at me. I, I know a little bit in each one. And I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that, to me that sounds like a wiser idea, but I don't want to get into this whole argument of a generalist versus um, a specialist. Um, that's just my opinion. I think the more you know in a little bit of area, a lot of areas, that the safer you're going to be um, and have more job security. Anyway, so look, um, enough bullshit from me. Um, let's get we have that was nice uh, just popped into place um, we got the 50 we got the 80 we got the 160 and so let's get let's get um, this one how far is this going up 280 my wife you can hear rolling out the back of the bedroom in the middle of a pandemic she thinks it's time to paint the whole house and i told her what no part of it um now what's this one coming up this is going to be coming up 30. thirty okay um now let's do this sweep um i'm just thinking here now for a sec we want the sketch the sweep sketch 
to be on that face um, and it's going to look something like this I have a line and it comes up to there and then it comes over um, I know if I make that point there to there is 160 what's the height of this this is I know this is 125 that's probably where a lot of people are getting confused about that's I apologize I didn't I didn't intentionally um, you should know by if you do my drawings enough that there are dimensions missing I I, treat, I really try not anymore um, and then what is the the length of this 400 um, if if everybody submits it I, I'm gonna leave it a week if nobody has gotten to 190 why don't you just use a different email address or something but nobody's gotten to 190 points everyone has gotten a lot of people have gotten close to 180 um, I'll leave it a week and if nobody has gotten it um, I'll divide it up by everyone that's gotten 180 I think that's the fairest unless someone has a better idea so um, now I'm trying to think here um, there is we need we need that radius of 30 going on there um, the radius of, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of the off the top of my head here there was some good good pe people who were uh, uh, um, attempted it um, they knocked it out very fast so I was quite impressed by that um, now what is the size of the um, of the bloody thing it's it's 38 so that's the that is the sweep um sketch um if i go and it, you notice that it's it, it's one continuous kind of a curve three lines with the tangent um i'm going to create a sketch on here and i'm going to make this from there i'm going to make that 38 And a sweep will always have two sketches. So I go to sweep boss base. It's gonna have the profile is this lad, and the what is what do they call this? The path is this lad, and look, boom. Um honestly I don't have that's probably all the experience I have with sweeping. Um the majority of parts you're going to be doing are just extrusions and simple stuff holes revolves about like have i ever made a part that had a boundary cut or any of that not at all um anyone that does have concrete um examples of where you've used boundary bases and lofts um i'm all ears i'd love to hear it it's very for me it was very rare i was always doing stuff with aluminum and it was just cnc'd um and we, we we wanted to make our parts as simple as possible we wanted them to be as cheap as possible um okay that that's that um what's next we need this fillet radius 10. okay and then we have our shell so i'm thinking if i now what size is the shell the shell is four it's a it's a thickness of four now i know what is this this if i highlight over this this is the faces to remove the face that we want to remove is that face there and we'll go okay and hopefully we got a shell without too much grief and that's it um is that everything aha am i right or am i wrong there is another opening we did th this one here so let's go back and add this face as well boop and that's your man that's your that's their that's the last part um let's look at it again yeah i think that's it well um i had a few questions on how ollie was doing he's in good form um I, I don't know if I, t I did tell you this that he ate the the leftovers of a box of KFC chicken 
Uh, and if you have dogs, you should know that the, the, the ch cooked chicken bones are probably not a good thing for a dog because they, they um, my dog just devoured it. And uh, there's a chance it might cut open one of his pipes or something in his tummy. So he had to get surgery right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. But the vets did a lovely job. So look, um, hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to be putting out some factory I.O. videos in the next couple of weeks. Um, take care of yourselves, Ollie, and um, and uh, keep your spirits up. You know, this too will pass. Take care, guys. Bye.